now, speaking of Muppet Monsters, I see that you worked on my favorite video game, Muppet Monster Adventure. <laughs> well, actually, that was a movie. Really? Yeah, Jim Lewis and I had, for years, I think we did four different versions of a Muppet. started as a Halloween special, and it was going to be a TV special, and then it became a movie, and then it became a different movie, and then it became a different movie. It was the Muppet, but the, it, the game was based on, we wrote the script, basically about all the Muppets being changed into classic movie monsters. We had Piggy, uh, Kermit was Frog and Shrine, Piggy was the Bride of Frog and Shrine, Gonzo was Nosferatu, um, uh, Rizzo was basically just Rizzo with a hunch. Um, Clifford was the creature from the African American Lagoon. I mean, it was just really silly uh, stuff. But the 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 idea was that uh, Bunsen, well, I, the concept was that uh, this this kind of phantom creature or character was changing the Muppets into uh, movie into monsters because he was tr- what he was trying to do is distill pure goodness. But the uh, side effect was. When you would remove the goodness from the Muppets, they would become these, you know, funny parodies of, of, of classic movie monsters. So uh, that was this movie, and it was how I think it was Kermit and Robin and a, and a couple other guys were trying to save everybody. They were stuck in a castle in, in Transylvania or somewhere, and they're running around trying to, you know, save their friends, turn them back. It was, you know, a classic clock where like if we don't change them before midnight, they're all going to stay monsters. Mm-hmm. And so our, our heroes are running around. And I forget the MacGuffin that changed him back, but but they had some formula or some ray, and, and so it was trying to get everybody to change before midnight, uh, including Kermit. Kermit was one of the, I think, first ones changed back. So it was very much like a game. It's like there was a very clear purpose. You had to change, you know, you had to do something to get a, a, a good guy changed back from a bad guy. And so when the when Muppet Interactive Division was created, they were looking through properties, and they, they found that script, and they said, wow, this would be a fun idea for a game where the Muppets are monsters, and you have to change them back or chase them around. And it, it's kind of playing with classic movie tropes of, you know, Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein and all that. So they turned it into a game, and so I got credit on it. I didn't really do much. I think I looked at some of the outlines and just gave some gag ideas, but I was not a game designer, and, and I was busy with other things. Well, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, it turned into my favorite video game, so thank you for coming up with the idea to begin with. Well, again, that's still an idea that's I'm still trying to get. I mean, just again, my, my personal agenda is trying to do a Muppet science fiction movie and a Muppet kind of horror movie or monster movie, I should say, because um, I think they lend themselves well to their genres. Uh, you know, like we did a Christmas movie and a pirate movie, I'd like to do a Muppet monster movie that's that's a, a makes fun of all the kind of parodies the genre, but it has a good story in it. So um, I'm I'm a big Halloween fan, a big monster fan, and a big Muppet fan, so you, you combine all those together. And so send lots of good mojo. Write cards and letters to Disney. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how that came about. But thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, I, I can't take much credit for it except for the original idea and, and, and have to share that with Jim Lewis. So we uh, I'm glad it turned into something that people enjoyed. Well, it, it certainly did. <laughs> And the, I guess the MacGuffin for changing them back that was used in the game is you throw chickens at the monsters. Yeah, that was different than the movie. I know uh, there was some ray or some formula. I forget. It's gosh, I mean, this is probably, we wrote it, the first version of it 20, 20 years ago, 20 uh-huh. years ago. Yeah, it was a, it's been a while. So, yeah, that's, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else Muppet Monster related that, uh, that uh, I've been working on and since then, since this is your Halloween show, right? Correct. Um, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Pretty much the Uncle uh, Deadly show and then all the Halloween specials. Uh, that, well, they became movie ideas, much like, you know, again, Christmas Carol was a Christmas movie and Treasure Island was a pirate movie. These were either, what happened was it started as a monster movie and then it became more of a ghost, like kind of a Ghostbusters parody and then uh, there was a version that I didn't work on where it was more like a horror movie, p- parodying the, uh, you know, the Friday the 13th and the uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street kind of movies. And uh, it was tough with that because you do kind of have to go into gore and scares, which I don't think works. I think it's harder to do with the Muppets. Um, 
because you can't really parody that stuff without, you know, cutting off heads or, or uh, having, you know, gratuitous amounts of blood. So, uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. It's, it's it, Looking at all this, it still just fascinates me that there has never been a Muppet TV Halloween special. Okay. That it just it it seems like it would just be the most perfect thing. I I am so on board with that. <laughs> you know, it's funny. The first Christmas special they did was like a mo- had monsters in it. It was the uh, Great Santa Switch. That's true. Uh, that's true. He did with Sullivan with Art Carney, and that's where I first fell in love with Muppet Monsters. Actually, I think that was even before Sesame Street, um, or maybe not. Maybe it was the early seventies. But I remember just going, "Wow, what fun creatures!" You know, I, I already liked the Sesame Street monsters that were silly, but those uh, creatures were so much fun. I think Gonzo came out of that special, actually, because the original Gonzo was built by Dave Goles, uh, I believe, for that special. He was this funny little creature, and then well, he didn't, then slowly became Gonzo or was changed over. Dave could give you the full details, but um, yeah, the thing is, we, you know, I think it was like seven Muppet Christmas movies and specials, but uh, no Halloween ones. I, I think, you know, if it were up to me, I'd do one every other year. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, maybe maybe some executive will hear this and go, say, that's a good idea, and think it's their idea, and then, you know, then we can all do it. So, um, I think, I think I'm think i going to go pitch this today to Debbie. <laughs> See, Debbie? We're, we're back on track for a Halloween special. Or sounds, a movie. Sounds, sounds great. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Josh. And thank you, Kurt. Yeah, have a great and ha- happy Halloween, everybody. I hope you have a, a fabulous time and get lots of candy in the most wonderful holiday of the year. <laughs>